Hi, boys and girls. I'm here with our next book today, How to Catch the Easter Bunny. And as we've been reading the books this week, we've been working on listening to the words and looking at the details in the illustrations. So today, I want you to do the same thing, just like we've done the last two days, thinking of four ways to put on our recording sheet or on your own sheet of paper. When the story's done, you're going to draw or write four ways that the story says you can try to catch an Easter bunny. Let's get started with our book, How to Catch the Easter Bunny by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs and now I'm here to bring them all to you. My real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B. My special job means I must hide my true identity. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny and I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me roam. This first trap is quite simple. Just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast. To catch me, you'll need some better bait. A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me strife. Have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing's my life. Now this is much more like it, a fully lit dance floor. I'll do a little hip hop, then dash behind the door. This next trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers, but it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket too? But I've been hiding Easter treats since 1682. This trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge the flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong, you see me right away. I leave so many Easter treats, no children will be sad. But when they see that I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. The Bunny Tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin, but I've got lucky rabbit's feet. I know I'll always win. With all the treats delivered to children big and small, I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kid of all. See you next year. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. I have one more of the books in this series to share with you tomorrow. See you then. Bye.